There's a free editor button that puts the output from ChatGPT directly into your Joomla article. And I'm going to show it to you right now in this video. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 251 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build Joomla sites, maintain them, uh, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersault.com and let's talk. Okay, shout out to uh, Rick Spawn from r2h.nl. Uh, he said he was watching a live stream uh, a couple weeks ago here on the channel and uh, saw me playing around with ChatGPT, so he programmed this free editor button. So thank you very much, Rick. Let's cut to the chase, get to the screen, and we'll check it out. Now, head on over to R2H, check out some of the extensions that they have there. But uh, what we need to get this free button from is on R2H's GitHub page. So the link will be in the video description below. We're going to go to it, and what you're going to do is go here and click on Code. Then we're going to go to download zip and we will save it to my computer. All right, it's down there waiting to go in Chrome. Next, we go into our Joomla sites. We're going to go to system, install and extensions and upload package file. We will go ahead and drag the plugin up and it is there. So next we will go to system, plugins, I'm already sorting by the most recent added with the ID here. So there's chat GPT. We're going to go into it. We could just publish it by enabling it right there in that screen, but we need to get an API key. Now let's go up and toggle inline help and you'll see right here, there is a link for you to go and get your API key. Now you have to create a profile here with openai.com, And then once you are there, you will have to click on API and then you're going to log into your account so create an account if you don't already have one now i have one so we're already logged in i'm going to go up to personal and you will see it says view api keys now don't get distracted by this message here that says chat gpt is coming sign up that puts you on a waiting list nope just go right to get an api key or view an api key and now what you're going to do is create an api key now, when you create an API key here, you will never ever see it again on this site. So you just have to create it and copy it. And I'm just gonna do that. And I'm too lazy to blur this out. So I'll just delete this one after. But we will copy and go back to the plugin. We're gonna paste it in the API key. Now, there's some other information for you to check out. You want to select uh, Text DaVinci 03 for the model. That is the most recent one and the temperature is 0.5 that deals with the sensitivity of what you'll be talking about so 0.5 if you check out the link uh, zero is totally safe one is kind of uh, touchy subjects and two is if you were talking to your mother after she just got out of prison for doing things with a bike gang and tokens refers to how many characters you want to see in the response to what you're searching for all right so have that all set up we'll go save and close now time for fun we're going to do two things a very plain thing and then i'm going to do a crazy thing after so hang around uh, to the end uh not so much crazy but uh, and maybe some people think i shouldn't do it but anyways here we go we're going to go to content articles we're going to add our first article now notice we're just going to call this uh, article one now this is the core editor that comes with joomla 4 I'm going to go to CMS content and now you'll see there is a chat GPT button. If you are using a different editor like JCE editor, you, the, your extra button may be down below. But we're going to go to chat GPT and we're just going to type in a question here. How many shades of blue are there? All right. And what we will do is we will go generate the text below. Now, usually when using chat GPT, you can see the response starting to be typed, but here you just have to wait for the full response to be typed and it's going to show up in this box here. And there you go. We've got just like a really short number, but we'll just work with that. And we will just go insert in text editor. And then all you have to do is save your article. 
and that's how you do it. Now, let's do the fun and crazy thing. To do that, I'm going to close here, and I'm going to go back to System, Install Extensions, and Install from the Web. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search for Sorcerer, S-O-U-R, Sorcerer, and this will bring up the free plugin from regular labs that you can use to put code inside your Joomla articles. So I'm going to click here. It's going to take me to his page. Actually, let's click down below and we can go install and we will install it right here. Now, once that is installed and I think maybe it has been published, let's go, we'll go to articles. And let's go back to our original article here. And now you will see on the left hand side here a button for code. Now let's make a new line. And we're going to do this. We're going to go uh, CMS content, code. And in here, this is where we can paste JavaScript. But for right now, I'm just going to place one word called holder. Okay. And insert. Now you'll see there is an opening tag and a closing tag, source and holder. Now I'm going to delete holder, but leave my cursor between those tags. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to say, make a JavaScript that shows a running clock. And then we will generate the text below. A few moments later. There you go. Now it's giving me some scripts, so I'm just going to click Insert Text in Editor because it's going between those source tags. I'm going to feature this article so I can just preview it on the home page. We will save. Let's see if it works. Now before we see if it works, I should say this. It's probably dangerous for me to just put this code in here because I'm not a coder. So if ChatGPT makes a mistake or does something goofy or something that's not secure, I'm being irresponsible. But hey, a lot of fun is irresponsible. So here we go. Let's preview. Here's our article. And look, there's our clock. 20907. Thanks again, Rick, for that plugin. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.